Gentlemen, today I'm crazy excited because you and me, we're going on a little field trip. I got 20 bucks. We're hitting a thrift store to see what I can find and how far I can stretch Mr. Jackson. Let's rock. So growing up, I didn't have much money. Um, and by much, <laughs> I mean, we didn't have like any money, any extra money anyway, not to spend on like cool clothes and stuff like that. But I was always into looking good and, and clothing. And so for as, I don't know, as long, as I can remember, I've always been going to thrift stores. It was a place where I could go and I could look, I could hunt and I could find some cool stuff and you know, it, it fit my budget. So up until about the age I'd say of around 25, pretty much my entire wardrobe came from thrift stores. Now the exception would be shoes and like jeans because I'm kind of a tough body type to fit and so I would splurge and spend my money there. But shirts, ties, jackets, all that stuff, everything from my upper body pretty much came from a thrift store. So this video, I'm kind of going back to my roots and so I'm excited to go see what I can find and like I said, we've set a budget, 20 bucks, that's it. All right, so two thrift storing pro tips. Number one, make sure to wear a simple plain t-shirt when you go in. A lot of times you're not gonna find dressing rooms, so you're gonna have to find something, try it on right there. Wearing a t-shirt is the perfect option. You don't need to mess with jackets and you're going to get a better representation of what the size actually is. Bringing me to thrift store pro tip number two. Even though everything in there is broken down by the size that it says on the tag, that size on the tag means absolutely nothing because everything in there has been shrunk 17,000 times. And so a small is probably like an extra small. A medium is probably a small. So in this case, you may need to size up. Gentlemen, without any further ado, I'm gonna get busy with Mr. Jackson. Gentlemen, I hit the thrifting jackpot. Seriously, I can't wait to get back to the office and show you what I actually got. Total cost of this little excursion, $17.66. Gentlemen, this is what $17.66 looks like. Let's actually see what it looks like when I try it on. The first item I would like to show you is a nice casual double pocket slate gray button up price tag wait for it three dollars 99 cents let's see how this thing looks check it out what do you think if you didn't know i paid three dollars 99 cents for this you'd be like damn half a sweet shirt even if that makes it even sweeter in my opinion check it out it's cool kind of military inspired the fit i mean seriously <laughs> Is, uh, is pretty remarkable and flawless. Um, I absolutely love this shirt. Next up, I found this super soft merino wool sweater. Light blue, two buttons, a collar. I thought it was pretty cool. The price, I thought, was even cooler. $4.99. Check it out. Merino wool sweater, super soft, great color. I thought it was fun, so I grabbed it. The price was right. And on this last outfit, it's sort of a combo, all right? I got a $3.99 fitted button down shirt. I got a $1.99 navy tie. I think it's actually silk. This thing's nice. And I also, of course, got the most expensive item, which is a great charcoal v-neck merino wool sweater. Price, $5.99. Now some of these items were actually on deeper discount, but you don't care about that. Outfit, <laughs> before I finish, putting this outfit together, I would just like to take a moment and show you the fit of this button-down shirt, which happens to be one of the best fitting button-down shirts that I own back to work. Before I put this on, brand, Calvin Klein, hell yeah. Boom, what do you think, huh? Yeah? Not too shabby for $17.66. So gentlemen, if you enjoyed this little field trip and you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit the like button and let me know down in the comment section. But I wanted to do this to basically show you that you don't need to spend a ton of cash to look like a million bucks. Does it take a little hunting and pecking and picking and yeah, it does. Should you wash your clothes before actually wearing them? Yes, I just didn't have time for that. So for those of you out there that are like, yo, I don't have money to spend on great stuff. I can't look good. This just, uh, no more because I just showed you. Seriously, I had a $20 budget. I got change left over for a burrito. Gentlemen, thanks for watching.